Hello everyone and welcome to my Wednesday afternoon one minute forecast. Meteorologist Hunter Binstock here. We're going to start off with a look at our weather alerts across the state. Now we have this fire weather warning, otherwise known as a red flag warning, out there in northeastern Montana. It's going to be valid until Wednesday 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. That's going to be for sustained winds in the teens and 20s as well as gusts up to the 30s. We have low relative humidities down into the teens for the percentages as well as temperatures that are going to be reaching those mid to upper 70s this afternoon. So we have that fire risk out there in northeastern Montana. Now taking a look at satellite and radar, you might see a couple of high clouds out there in the Wilson and Dickinson areas. Otherwise, a lot of sunshine out there this afternoon. And even where there are some clouds, it's not going to be enough to really interrupt your sunshine today. And with all that sunshine, we're getting lots of warming. We're already into the 60s this afternoon. Mid-60s across the state, a couple of folks already almost getting into the 70s. We already have 68 for Sydney, 67 out in Wolf Point, 66 down in Mobridge. So some very warm temperatures. And the highs for this afternoon are going to get into those upper 60s and a couple of 70s, especially out there in eastern Montana, looking at those mid to upper 70s, 75 for Wolf Point, 71 for Plentywood, 73 for Sydney, down in Bowman to 69, 70 for Mobridge. So some warm temperatures this afternoon. But our lows tonight, we're going to get down into those 30s and 40s. Warmer than they were last night, but nothing that's going to be super warm. It's still going to be a bit chilly, just nothing that's going to be too cold. Now looking at our high temperatures for Thursday, it's going to be a warmest day of the week. We're going to be in those mid to upper 70s across the state. We have 73 for Flasher, 74 for Garrison, 77 for Sydney, 74 for Plentywood. So some very warm temperatures. Looking at those wind speed and direction, we're probably out of the south, maybe the southeast. We're anywhere in those low teens into the upper teens. We have 28, or we have 23 for Bowman, 18 for Beach, 18 for Sydney, and 13 for Linton. And we do have gusts this afternoon in the low 20s out towards the more eastern reaches, out towards the west getting a little bit stronger, 29 for Dickinson, 30 for Hedinger, and 30 for Beach, so some reasonably strong winds. And this afternoon we're looking at those winds, they're going to increase throughout the rest of this afternoon until we get into the later hours this evening. Could potentially see those 40s and 45s come back with some widespread 30s and 35s for that gust potential. On Thursday, those winds are going to move off into the eastern portions of the state around the Devil's Lake Jamestown region where they're going to see those 40s and 45s, and then we should calm down into that 25 to 30 range. And then as we approach Friday, now Friday morning, winds should calm down, but by Friday evening here, we're going to see those winds come back one more time, starting to propagate from the northwest corner of the state. Going to see those 30, 30s and 35s get a little more widespread as we head into Saturday morning where we're going to see those winds 35s and 40s to the far north, and then you're going to see those 30s and 35s widespread across the state. Make sure you tune into KX News at 4 because I'm going to go over our thunderstorm chances for tomorrow and much more coming up my full forecast on KX News at 4.